Hey you guys, okay so today I am sharing with you my entire perfume collection. I've got some new things and I'm also going to be sharing with you guys the things that I would skip. Things that I kind of regret. I'll show you how I store mine, like where I keep them and stuff. Uh, perfume is always one of those things that ever since I was younger, it's like it's always excited me. I can remember having a little tray of just like some little ones that maybe like my mom gave me or uh, as I got a little older ones that I got really excited about and I would get like for Christmas or something and it's always been something that I enjoy and I feel like I've got honestly a little too many right now um, but I've got a few that are on their way out so one that's like actually just a few more you know just just a little bit left so I'm trying to like expand my horizons because I feel like I've gotten some real signature scents especially like one or two that's just hands down my favorite things that are definitely different than any of my other perfume collection videos so I've got a lot of new things to show you guys I think perfume something that you can have fun with it kind of uh, makes you feel it makes you feel a little special and it's just kind of the finishing touch that I like to do when I get ready let me show you first how I keep them because I keep them in two different spots you may remember where I used to keep them here. I had like that big thing which I'm gonna actually put somewhere else. But it was just too big right here. I couldn't really see into the mirror. I definitely like to have a few things here where I get ready but I don't need my whole collection. You know what I mean? So I have a few of them in my closet and then I have some of them here like my ones that I'm using the most and I kind of rotate them. I'm gonna show you that. Also I know I never did like a like a reveal or not really a reveal but just like a look at this area now that we've got our new countertops in and some things changed in here and um, this is where I get ready there's amazing lighting in here there's like a huge skylight in the actual ceiling but then there's a huge window above that tub way up high it's a good room to do makeup in I love getting ready in here I like being near a sink it's just it's just good so I'm gonna do a video soon showing you guys my setup showing you all the makeup that I use like get on the daily that's in my drawer like all my favorite things and I've gotten some new things so let me give you an overview before I keep them so this is where I get ready you guys um, I'm going to a tour of kind of like this whole zone coming up at some point but I keep this little tray um, with some of my most used things and perfumes things that I reach for every day and then um, my makeup brushes, I've got my makeup mirror, all my makeup's in a drawer, or all my daily makeup that I use is in the drawer under here, which we'll go through soon. Uh, but I wanted to keep kept this little box from one of my new perfumes that I really want to show you guys. So we're gonna go through all of these and then let me show you where all of my other ones are. So I like the idea of having some of them in here and I don't really know how to explain like I don't have my least favorite ones in here or my favorite ones there it's just I rotate sometimes like what I'm using more as you guys know the Gucci 2 is one of my all time favorites and it's in here my Dior Blooming Bouquet which is like basically out is in here I just kind of have them all mixed up I like to be able to reach for some when I'm in here and have some in the bathroom I just think it's too much to have all these sitting out on my counter where I get ready like it was before it was just too much space when I only might need just a handful and, then and I'll link to some of these mirrored uh, trays. I don't know if either one of these are available anymore. I definitely don't know where the one that was in my closet is from, but I brought that in here, so I'm going to show you everything. Okay, so let's start with what is on my counter. Um, I showed you guys this in my Sephora video, the Victor and Rolf Magic Liquid Diamonds. Definitely would recommend this. And like, okay, as we go, I'm going to just describe to you what the scent smells like. I'm not a perfume. Um, maker. I don't know all the words, but I'm going to give you my words and give you like my honest, you know, Okay, this is what I'm wearing today. I love it so much. This is such a clean, fresh, sophisticated scent. It has a hint of peony to it, but it's very um, sophisticated. It smells, I hate to say it, it smells expensive. It smells like a nice perfume. You guys know what I'm talking about. A little fresh. I just really love it, and um, it does smell very sophisticated. Now, Victor and Rolf Liquid Diamonds, and that's this little box. I can't bear to part with this box yet. I don't keep every little thing like this, but I really thought it looked pretty in here. This smells so good. It has everything. It's fresh, a little powdery, very like sexy floral, a little flirty. It is just, it's very good, you guys, and I have just been using it like crazy, so I love that. Something new that I got is the Tiffany & Company, the new Tiffany & Company. When I was younger, I remember in high school, I got this beautiful blue Tiffany box that had the Tiffany & Company perfume in it, um, or it was just called Tiffany. and. I, rem I still remember how that smelled, but I remember getting that when I was younger and it was always so special, but they've revamped the fragrance. It almost looks like a diamond or something. It's just so pretty. Now this is kind of in the same realm of the liquid diamonds. 
I like the liquid diamonds a bit more. This one is a fresh scent, very clean. It's a, it's very light, honestly. I feel it's not one that's gonna be heavy or like sticks around very long. Not that that's even bad. It does. I'm not saying like in a couple hours it's gonna be gone. It's just a lighter scent. This has a hint more of a fruity floral to it. Almost a little similar to like the Versace Bright Crystal, but a little fresher scent. So this is kind of cool, and it came in the most beautiful box. Very pretty, it's exactly like a Tiffany jewelry box, but it was sitting in that. Isn't that nice though? I really do like that. So I have three by, let me let me talk about this first. The Woods Agent Sea Salt by Jo Malone. Has a little bit of like cedar to it, very fresh, sea salty. I don't know, very kind of like, I'm gonna smell like crazy, you guys. This is one you could literally layer with anything. Like I said, this is kind of, I would say, like my signature scent. If you can find something like this that you can layer with anything, you can have fun wearing all your perfumes, but still kind of keep your signature scent that smells like you. This is so beautiful and just fresh and clean, and I love it. Chanel number no. five, low. I love the original number no. five. I like to smell it. I don't like to smell it on me. This has a hint of that original with a little bit of like a soft, like creamy, like powdery, you know, to kind of like tone it down a little bit. Y'all, I know, okay? I'm an expert at describing scents. We know this. Love that so much, and I've really enjoyed that. Okay, so I have three Byredo scents. Um, I have used up an entire one. I've used the Gypsy Water. It smells just like the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Uh, when we were at the counter not that long ago, I remember, did, she, did the saleswoman say that, or did me and Lisa say that? I don't remember. But when we were talking about something, Lisa said, oh, this smells like light blue, this smells like that. And the woman's like, I'm not familiar, I don't know. Like, they act like they have no idea what any other scents are. But she was very helpful and sweet, but I'm just saying. I find a lot of the Byredo perfumes, the ones that I've smelled, definitely have hints of other things. All perfumes are made with, and that's just it. They're all made with certain notes. There's gonna be the same notes in certain perfumes, so some things are gonna smell like, you know, whatever. Um, but this one I really love, the Byredo Blanche. This is very soapy. This is the largest one that I have. Of, um, I have two that are the smaller sizes, and then I actually bought this in the larger size because this is one of those you can just put on all over when you get out of the shower. It's just a clean, not off-putting scent. It smells a little soapy, a little like detergenty, but in a good way, like in a fancy, nice, like perfume way. I will link to all these below if I'm running through them kind of quickly, but this one I very strongly recommend. I love that one. The Mojave Ghost smells a lot like Marc Jacobs Daisy, um, but I really do like it. And then if you guys remember back in the day, the Jessica Simpson Fancy Love in the white bottle, which last time I talked about this, I said I was gonna purchase that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna buy my Jessica Simpson Fancy Love because I used to love that scent. I hope they still have it. I think some of you guys said that they did. This is like Marc Jacobs Daisy with a hint of whatever Fancy Love had. Okay, I know, that's. A, I know you're like, I'm painting such a picture for you. But it's, you know, it's not my favorite. I don't think I would repurchase this. I do like it though. I've used quite a bit of it, but um, it's good stuff. The Velvet Haze I purchased either when it first came out, I wanna say they've always had this one, but maybe they like promoted it or it won some kind of like best fragrance ever of the year award, I don't know, um, about a year or so ago. And so I purchased it, and I'm not kidding you guys, it smells so good, but it smells very lush bath balmy. If you guys remember, like the pink, oh my gosh, I totally forgot what it was, but like the lush pink bath bombs or that candy bar one, this smells kind of like that, but in like a nice, sophisticated perfume way. This is one of my heaviest scents that I have, and I really do love it, and I know I said I don't say like things are fall and winter, but I think this one would be like really good for fall and winter. Um, like I said, I just kind of switched things out. Oh, I do have this, my Chanel tan water, which if you've not tried this or you did not see my video, um, I will link to the video where I actually apply this and use it, so check that out if you haven't seen it. This is good stuff. Uh, like I said, it just gives you a, I'm not like praising, I'm just like trying to show you my arms, but yes, it is very, it is very good. But it kind of, like I said, it knocks the scary off of your skin because I don't like to tan. I don't want to look tan. I don't want to get a spray tan. I like my legs to look, I, I just, I don't care. But sometimes I get it. My legs do look a little like, ah, you know. And this just kind of gives you a little warmth, a little glow without it being anything that would streak or come off on anything or look kind of like, what, like a run. It just gives you a little bit of a glow. So this is a genius product and it has a very nice, um, Beautiful scent to it, so love that. Versace Bright Crystal. I got this not too terribly long ago, but I love it. Um, really, really got into this quickly. And it's very fruity, very floral. This is probably my most fun fragrance. Very, very girly. 
Oh, I love it though. Brad really likes this one. It's so good, but some of those scents can be done in a very cheesy way. You know what I mean? They might smell a little young or like something you can just grab at like, you know, in a body spray at the drugstore. You know what I'm saying? This does not smell like that. It has like an expensive, like, I hate to say that, but you know what I'm talking about. It smells like a nice perfume. It doesn't smell cheap, but it has that yummy, like, fun floral to it, but sophisticated. Oh my gosh, you know which one I used to live for? Do you remember that Britney Spears one? The first one, that Curious, that had the big ol' um, pump thing? Loved that. Loved that. This Dior Blooming Bouquet. I thought I would, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty low on it, but I will say this is one of my just all-time faves. And when I run out, it'll be hard not to just pick it up because I feel like, oh, I'm out of it, I love it. I don't know, I'll probably wait a little bit. If I really miss it, I'll get it again. But this is one of those that the first time I tried it, I just fell so in love with it. You just smell so yummy when when you use it. And I would say the Versace Bright Crystal is very similar. This might just be a hair like sweeter. So I don't know, I think they're both very good. These are probably the two most feminine fragrances that I have, like very sexy feminine. Um, very good. I don't think you can go wrong with any, either one of those. I think both of those would be like a good gift for like a young girl or something. And then you guys, if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know I'm obsessed with the Gucci too. This is one that I will always have in my collection as long as they make it. No joke, this is probably like the eighth one that I've had. Like I literally, I've used this since, I think the first one that I ever got, Brad gave me around our wedding and I wore it, you know, on our wedding day. He loves this. This is my favorite one. It brings back memories. It just smells, I think, like me. I don't know. Is that funny to say? It just smells very, it's a very familiar yummy smell and I think if I had to get rid of all my fragrances I would just keep this one but I dropped it because my last one, like I said, I've had so many of them I'm used to, like I don't try to pick it up by this, it's a very heavy bottle. I don't try to pick it up by the top but sometimes if I grabbed it from the top just to put it in my other hand, the top is usually very um, tight. For whatever reason, this bottle, the, the cap was a little loose, and when I picked it up, it fell on our bathroom floor, and the edge of it busted, and so, like, the glass is kind of, um, flaking off. I need to paint it with something that'll, like, seal it on there, so I'm trying to be, like, really careful with it, but, oh, you guys, ow, mm, just cut myself. Ow, I just did it again. What am I doing? I need to get it together. So, yeah, be careful with that. It's, it's a, it's a hazard. I'm gonna go downstairs after filming this, Brad's so gonna be like, what the heck were you doing up there? Okay, another Jo Malone scent. I'm going to lose track of the ones I've talked about this. But another Jo Malone scent is the Mimosa and Cardamom. I really like the one called, like, Honey. Is it the Honey Nectar or something? But I told myself I'm not going to repurchase any of these. I can tell I actually use one up. Plus, I've got this one that I don't use a lot. This one is a very odd scent. And it smells very good mixed with the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Y'all, I'm not even going to lie. I can't describe this. It's one of those that I just don't have any words for. So, I'm actually looking it up. Oh, honey. Yeah, that does smell like honey. Okay. Honey golden mimosa float above the spiciness of freshly crushed cardamom. Now, cardamom, yeah, if you know what cardamom smells like, I'm guessing, I don't know. Creamy tonka and smooth sandalwood. Mmm. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Under powdery heliotrope and damask rose picked at dawn. But only the ones picked at dawn. Yes. Okay, yeah, okay. So yeah, honey, cardamom. This is one of them that actually has a very different scent to it. Um, yeah, I can, mm -hmm. I hope that helped you if you know what any of those things smell like. Alright, this is something that I don't wear as much as I should and I shouldn't have ever said that about the, I don't like to say summer and winter because now I'm going to say that through the whole thing. This is one that is very summery because it smells like, it smells like copper tone, like copper tone sunscreen mixed with gardenia mixed with whatever else Hermes has put in here. So it's Hermes gardenia. And love it ever since, you know, I smelled it and it's one of those things, I smelled it in the store and I was like, yes, like this smells so good. It's very, very summery. Definitely smells like copper tone. Smells like the beach to me, but it's gardenia, which I usually like things that are gardenia. So kind of like it's gardenia mixed with copper tone. Um, what a combo. I have a few more left, but the Chanel that I would say to, to get if you are afraid of all Chanel perfumes, which why would you even want one? Maybe you're just wanting a Chanel perfume and you're like, I want to find one that I like. The Chance is such a good one. Classic, but it has that hint of like Chanel, slight like heaviness, sophistication, but it has a very like floral note to it. This probably stays on longer than any perfume that I own. I can smell some scarves that I might have sprayed, you know, like where I was wearing this and it still smells like that like 10 years later. No, I'm kidding. 
but probably. I have had two of these over the years, but it's very good. The Chanel Chance. Okay, you guys, this is a good one. So it's the Killian Good Girl Gone Bad, which I've talked to you guys about. You guys know about this. I bought this little one. You know, you can take out the little thing. You can put in another one. The idea of this is it's kind of like, well, it's Good Girl Gone Bad. What I would explain it as is it's like, it's got this note of a very like fruitiness. Is it kind of peachy? Like a peachy note to it, apricot. And then it has like a heaviness, like a, like a depth to it as well that I don't know what it is. It's like, maybe it's like, um, I don't wanna say gardenia, what is that, like, like a tuberose, something? I don't know, but it's just very good. You guys, has a creaminess to it. This actually does stay on a long, long time, and it's very, very, like, I don't wanna say heavy in a bad way, but it's a little heavy, but in a good way. Okay, all right. This one is so fun, the Replica Lipstick on. I kinda wanna put it on my tray in here to use, cause. I went on a kick where I was just pretty much wearing this non-stop. It's um, Replica Lipstick On. Um, the fragrance description says night blush and rice powder. And the idea is that it smells like lipstick or it smells like makeup or powder, face powder smells. And to me, it smells like, um, I told you guys, kind of like Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers. It has that creaminess of like a lip balm scent, how some lip balms have that scent. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you smell Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers, that's what this smells like mixed with like the sugariest, not like vanilla or anything like that, but just a scent that smells sweet. Just sweet. And so I like this one because it gives me that sweetness after it kind of like dies down a little bit, it does just leave behind a really pretty like sweet scent that just smells kind of yummy. So. This one's very different than anything that I have. And I like it because you can layer it with something else if you just want something very sweet. Speaking of, the Prada Candy. So this is the Candy Gloss. Now years ago I bought the Prada Candy thinking it was gonna be like my sweet scent. That was before I bought the replica one. And um, I didn't really love it. I, I just wasn't too excited by it. I didn't love, you know, that it, it just didn't last very long. But this one is like the replica lipstick on. It has a hint of that, like, glossy scent but it's very fruity and it's very floral so whereas the replica lipstick on smells very um like not floral at all really just kind of sweet has kind of that just that creaminess like i don't want to say like takes your breath but i don't want to say that like in a like in a good way it just smells sweet and sexy this one is sweet i think kind of what they're trying to do there like a little lipsticky because it's got like lipstick all over that and when i smelled it that was my first instinct is that i picked up a similar note that i smelled in the lipstick on but it has a ton of like i don't want to say like sharp fruitiness to it but it's very fun and um i just i love that so much and i have this bottle and so really like that um okay this, okay, this is gonna go in my in my tray in here. I don't know why it wasn't in here. Okay, that's weird. The Lombardons Low by Diptyque. For years I had the rollerball of this and I said, I'm gonna get this. If you've smelled the Diptyque Bay candle, that one that smells very like rosy, kind of peppery, bergamot, I don't know, is bergamot? I don't know what else is in there. Kind of like their cult favorite candle. This is, I would say, the perfume version of that. So pretty, it has like the swan, very pretty. Again, very different than any of the other perfumes that I have. Rosy, a little peppery, a little just like different and fresh, but like kind of dark and heavy. It's fresh and dark and heavy. No, y'all, this is good though. If you want to try something different, you like different perfumes, you think everything smells the same, you will be very surprised by this. This does not smell like anything I've ever smelled other than that candle but this is even like yummier um, or you're looking for a unique gift for someone that just likes unique things this is beautiful and it always comes in like the most beautiful packaging and this lasts like crazy because it's an actual perfume i think you can buy the eau de toilette but this is the eau de perfume and um really love that gosh i want to spray all these on me and i think i kind of how i'm getting very like i'm getting overwhelmed okay um this is something so i have uh three more let me show you three more. Okay, um, and a couple that I that I might regret. I'll go through those at the end. Okay, um, the YSL Black Opium. I have not gotten into this one as much as I thought I would yet. I think I'm really gonna like it come this like fall and winter. I know. Okay, Tony, just why do I even say anything? This smells a lot like the Prada Candy Gloss mixed with 
like the lipstick on so it's a little heavier you know what I mean it's kind of like those two mixed together but then it's got kind of like that heavy you know like how Chanel perfumes have that like kind of like hits you in the face like there's a you know what I mean kind of like very perfumey smelling this is like that this is very sweet it's it's a lot you know so I got to be in the mood to wear this I wouldn't say it's a regret I would say it's just different than a lot of the things that I have um, but yeah that's why you haven't seen me talk about it a whole lot just because I haven't really gotten into it um, but gosh, it does smell really good. The Hermes Twilly. This reminds me so much of Private Collection that my mom used to wear, the Estee Lauder Private Collection when I was a kid. But then it's a little, but it's a little updated. The Private Collection is very like heavy and like uh, it's yummy. Like I do like that a lot. But this has a little something extra. I really kind of. Oh, why do I not wear this more? Um, I might put this in my little thing too. And honestly, I kind of like the bottle better like this than with this like rainbow. Twilly, little scar. Um, so, yeah, this is good. This smells really good. Okay, great review for you. It smells really good. And then this might be something, okay, that I regret. And then I'll talk about a few others that I do regret. The Erin Garden Rose Cologne. So it's a cologne. It comes in like a huge bottle. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to use it all the time. It's like rose. I'm going to smell like, you know what? I don't know what I'm saying. This is a, oh, then I smell it and I love it. It's a delicious rose scent because it's not like just a really sharp, like hit you in the face, like kind of grandma-ish rose smell. Because I love a rose perfume, obviously. Like I like the Lombardons Low. It has some depth, it has something different. It's not just straight hit you in the face rose like a candle or like a rose like fake scented something, like rose oil too strong. I don't know. This one, this one has a creaminess to it. It has like a softness to it. And it's not just like, it's just, it's just very feminine and fresh. So I thought that I would just use it a lot and I haven't really used it a lot. Not because I don't like it, but just because I don't, I don't know really what's going on with this. I have no clue. I don't know how to tell you about that. Maybe I should keep it in here so I can like put it on when I get out of the shower. Maybe I should just move them all back in here. I don't know. I kind of regret this, the Joe Malone Mimosa and Cardamom. This I've had such a long time. This was the first Joe Malone scent I got. I think even before the Wood Sage and Sea Salt, right? But I smell it and I really like it. But I just don't know if I like it on me, like, or if it's something that I crave, like, to wear a lot. Weird, I know. Um, and then, then again, like, this is something I can't really say. Do I regret it? I've used most of it, and this was the first Byredo scent that I got. But the Mojave Ghost. It's not that I regret it, it's just that I wouldn't repurchase it. I mean, a lot of these I wouldn't repurchase. And it's not because I don't like them, it's just because I think sometimes, like with a perfume, you use it, you enjoy it, you move on to something else. Some of these things, it's like that Dior Blooming Bouquet that's getting, you know, like my, my some of these, like my Gucci, I always repurchase that. Um, it just depends. Um, I didn't repurchase the Gypsy Water. Um, I thought it was just a little hyped up, but I don't know. I guess people got excited about that, and it smells good. I'm not saying if you like it, it's hyped up, or that. I'm saying it's just nothing special for me because I guess I've had the light blue, and um, the Gypsy Water just doesn't really smell very strong. Like I can't smell it on myself. I can't really smell it much on other people. So I just have to bathe myself in it, and hence why I, I ran out of it. Um, but is it even a scent that I love that much? I never repurchased the light blue. I was never super excited about that. It smells kind of lemony. It's a good smell. I mean, it's not bad or like off-putting. It's just nothing super special, I guess I would say. Um, but if you're going to try a Byredo, excuse me, I would say definitely the Blanche and definitely the Velvet Haze. These two are so good. And I recently just got a Byredo candle. I'll do a video soon on some new home stuff. But, um, Oh my gosh, and then the liquid diamonds. I just, I get kind of into something and then I kind of just go with it. I love the Tiffany, I'm loving the liquid diamonds. Um, I'm liking kind of lighter, fresher scents. I don't really, I don't know. Don't know what to think about that. But thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed talking to you guys today about this. I think it's kind of fun to share little updates on this and like things that I've been liking, ones that I'm kind of like not into as much anymore. Um, it's just really fun and I hope that you may have found something Sorry, I'm like organizing these. That you're interested in, or maybe I answered your question about something. Or if you tend to like some of the same things that I do, maybe this will be helpful. Um, I personally love like perfume videos. I love hearing people talk about perfumes and you know what they're wearing. I just think it's a very like personal thing that's fun. You can try different ones and have fun with it. And like I mentioned so many times through the video, I 
I associate certain ones at different points in my life with like, you know, things that my mom might have worn or things that certain family members worn or my or Brad or me or whatever. And it's just kind of cool. So it's another way to do something, you know, for yourself that's a little fun and makes you feel good. So thank you guys for watching. I will link to all of these below and I will talk to you very soon. Bye you guys.